What's up, guys? What's up, John? Connor Sherman, Stephen Cole. How are you guys doing today? We have Alliance Wars and we have Cosmic Crucible. Oh my god. Okay, let me reset the game. Won my first won my CC against Gear Team 19. Let's go, awesome. Do it now? Yes, I have to do it now, yeah. No baby yet. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday morning. It's uh, it's already on the on the schedule. Thursday morning. Ram, what's up, Ram? Welcome back, T Bone. Welcome back. So yeah, Thursday morning at uh, six and a half starts the process. Hopefully, it will be done a couple of hours after. Okay, we have to face Klepto. He has a super defense. Little Falker, welcome back. Thank you, Corner Chairman. Thank you. See you later. Okay, let's see. Purple in the middle. Okay, nice. I hope this is a, a lucky, lucky one. Okay, so we're gonna face. Uh, ooh, this is too loud. Okay, the music is too loud. So we're gonna face uh, the klepto, the not uh, usual klepto that uh, we are used to see. So the klepto is from the alliance, the Black Diablo, is coming to us at uh, almost 80 million TCP, and uh, I'm also at uh, almost 80 million TCP. So this is pretty much punch across, uh, and uh, on defense, he has Tango Web with uh, Gambit and Rogue. Interesting. Super Scroll together with uh, Hero as Guardians or Bifrost. I think this is going to be a huge problem. Then we have Extreme with Noir, Black Knight with Superior Six, Infinity Watch with Quicksilver, and uh, Secret Defenders with uh, Black Order, Black Order with Morgan of Fay and Dormammu. So yeah, huge defense. This guy has everything on defense, so it's going to be a big problem to clear this. Oh, he's in the chat. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Raging Nerd. This is... Yes, yes. I'm glad you are old enough to get a reference. I faced one pride in CC. Name was Familia. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Ronaldo Batista. Quais os teams necessários para os últimos desafios da fuga de Kilna? Ainda não sei, ainda não sei dizer, mas vai ser sem stress, não, não te preocupes, tens tempo, tens tempo. VNM, welcome back. Ok, so scroll, scroll by Frost, I think I have to use like Cabal or something, no? I think I have to use something like Cabal, and uh, Cabal and Apocalypse, it's not only Cabal, Cabal and Apocalypse, he's smart enough to have Loki, Rather than uh, Teen Loki. Then this Black Knight. Uh, I could go for that uh, sack we did last time. Infinity Watch with Quicksilver. That might cause some problems for uh, War Dogs. A Lizard on room 6. We need to be lucky as well. Not the biggest black cat, so maybe that will help. Okay, let's see. We're gonna start with that. Okay, room six. We're gonna use this, and we'll probably have to double tap the rooms, but we'll see. Okay, so first room we're gonna do room six versus Secret Defenders, Morgan Lafay, and uh, Dormammu. I'm gonna use this team, this position, we'll see how it goes. I don't have any hopes, it's still the first week, we are still learning what works best and what doesn't. So we'll see. I think after this season, I'm gonna get, uh, yes, uh, yeah, I'm, me too, me too. Okay, so let's go, we're gonna apply that vulnerability to the cat. Okay. Now we have the taunt, let's apply the vulnerability to Dormammu, 
He still doesn't have the the disrupt, which is annoying. We did not resist the we did not resist the um, the ability block for Mario and Fei. Even being a small Mario and Fei, it still causes some problems. Now we can spread to that girl and she's going to die okay she gets attacked again okay i think i'm gonna turn the dormammu i need some extra time let's see if that's a good idea or not black edge is almost getting deleted but not uh, good enough okay she did she got deleted Dormammu goes. We need Gwenpool to take a turn. Wow, Morgan Lafay goes first. Wow. Morgan Lafay going before Gwenpool. That's kind of crazy. That's really kind of crazy. Wow, really? Damn, that's crazy. Wow, everything went perfect. Okay, let's try again. Damn. Should I use the full team instead of Lizard? Let's try to use the full team instead of Lizard. We need more speed bottom. And uh, and for that we need Dagger. Because they don't have all the members, Gwenpool, Gwenpool no, the other girl, she will go always after. So I think that's a good point, right? Okay, let's go like this. Okay, so we're gonna try the new warriors versus this team. If you have the full team, they're gonna get more speed bar. Cloak also gets more evade or evade chance or dodge chance or something. So maybe that will be beneficial. Let's see. So vulnerability over here. She still has the immunity. We got to disrupt on Dormammu, which is definitely nice. Should I just turn in the Morgan and Fire? Let's see. Turn you the Morgan of Fire. I don't want to kill her. Uh, let's spread like this. We're going to try different things. Okay, so she's still alive. Cloak, she, Cloak still got ability blocker. Okay. Black Hat, we cannot rewind her because she has immunity. Of course, she has immunity. Okay, Dagger might be able to remove the immunity. If we remove the offense up, that would be nice too. Okay, we remove the offense up. We got one kill. We got two kills. We got three kills. Okay, okay. Much better. Now we dodge those attacks. Okay. Morgan of Fate, man, this Morgan of Fate special is really ruining my day. This Morgan, wow, what is this, bro? It, what? This is super small Morgan of Fate, are you crazy? Bro, 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 what's going on here? And I don't have enough charges now, of course I don't have. Wow. What can I do here? Nothing, I guess. Okay, so special with the uh, cloak. Dagger, of course, dagger dies. Oh my fucking god, seriously. And she still doesn't have enough charges. Of course she doesn't. Man, that's some ridiculous shit right there. Okay, at least uh, this is easier to clean. Wow. Don't try to double tap. No, I think double tap like this will be better. At least the black cat is gone. What what the hell was this? What the hell was this? That was uh, kind of terrible. Really kind of terrible. Okay, so let's try to use uh, War Dogs here. I'm not sure if it's going to work, to be honest. Because of Quicksilver, Quicksilver can delete someone right away. So might leave this for last. 
And uh, at least now we have the lizard that we can use somewhere else. So we have lizard, we have spider slayer. Mysterio. Am I going to use my Mysterio here? Probably not. Let's use uh, Spider Weaver. Spider Weaver and uh, 2099. Okay, let's see. Yeah, your defense is very solid, yeah. Shekari Gaming, welcome back. Okay, so we're going to use uh, Superior 6 with the Tango Web. In theory, my Vulture is going to counter their 2099, so my 2099 should go. And he's not. We'll see what's going to happen. We have Lizard in the corner next to Spider Weaver. We have Spider Slayer. Starting with his ultimate. Which is going to be great. Let's apply offense down to Gambit. Okay, we got that offense down. Great. Let's apply vulnerability to Rogue. Steal those buffs. He still has speed up. Which is not supposed to happen. Okay, now all of them have ability block. Let's ability block the Spider Weaver. I actually didn't even pay attention to the Isoids. Let me see. So Raider. Okay, not a big deal. So Spider Slayer. I guess we're going to say goodbye to Spider Weaver right away. Bzz. Goodbye. Okay, Gambit goes. He's going to give speed water to Weaver. Does Rogue has Raider as well? She has Raider as well. So we are going to do the special to remove that evade. And then we're going to use the vulnerabilities. Okay, great. We're going to do a turning wind with the Vulture. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to apply vulnerability to Gambit. We have charges on Weaver, so you don't have to worry about Gambit. Let's use a special here. He keeps attacking 2099. That's great for us. Does Captain America has Raider as well? No, he doesn't. Okay, so stun on Raider. Or stun on Raider. Stun on Gambit. Striker is await. He has immunity. Special. Gambit is gone, and uh, Lizard with a basic. Ooh, nice animation. Never seen that animation before. And now there we go. Okay, easy. As expected. As expected. Easy. Little Lazy, welcome back. Shum Show, welcome back. Your extreme suggestion room to help me to win CC. He could not beat it. Awesome, awesome. Another win for me with the OG defense from last week. That's amazing. That's amazing. I used the CC defense from your video and got eight wins. Awesome, amazing. How is your Spider Slayer? Is massive. I love Iron Patriot, he makes Kang 10 times better. Absolutely. Burns, welcome back. Wazy, welcome back. Okay, so yeah, that room 2, the room 6, very complicated. But at least this one was easy. Now, we have still very problematic teams. Here, we are going to use what? That team from other week. We're going to use this to sack or... Uh, let me see. So, War Dogs here. Mm. 
this war dogs here it's uh, it's not gonna go well it's just not gonna go well the team is very big and uh, and quicksilver just ruins it okay we're gonna try to use uh, war dogs versus infinity watch with quicksilver i have very little faith but we'll see what happens We'll see what happens, but it's definitely going to be difficult. We need to apply this Raptor to Quicksilver. And maybe with that, we have a chance. Okay, so this Raptor on him, great. Now, we're going to get that speed up from Nebula. Or just shred the, the Quicksilver before he goes. Okay, I'm going to get that, that speed up first. Okay. Now, can you get defense down on him? Defense down. So, defense down on primary target, offense down to the other targets. Ooh, that's a big yikes. Okay, so defense down. Let's do that. And now, we don't have any offense up, but let's see if Black Panther... Uh, Black Panther 97, we silver level 100, so you know what, that's, what that means, right? It's not great. So everyone has defense up. Shuri Striker has a wait. Let's go. Shuri Striker has a wait. Oh my god, so close. Oh, that was a shame. That was a big shame. Oh, he died. He died. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. It's, it's not over until it's over. We can still lose it. But uh, knowing that we are not facing the, the other girl, Moon Dragon, that is definitely going to help. Wow. This level 100, man. This level 100 really killing me. Okay, I guess we are going after Gamora, right? We might be able to shred her before uh, she takes a turn. Okay, big damage from Nakia. Is it Nakia? It's Nakia, yes. Okay, but Shingen now with his special. No, I think it's over. I don't think I can recover from this. Ability block there. We don't have immunity. They are doing too much damage. Uh, remove the revive from Nebula, I guess. Let's do that. Gamora almost one shots the Vashenga. Okay, here we go. We have uh, one chance to get uh, rid of this girl over here. Nice. I think I'm going to go after Philavel now. Okay, let's see. I don't want uh, Adam Warlock to taunt again. That was super annoying. Striker is away, please. Okay, nice. Let's remove the offense up. Oh, no, no, she's he was blinded. Okay, we remove the offense up. That's good. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Okay, Striker is away for the slow. Is that enough? Now that guy has the taunt. Man, this level 100, it's, it's really a huge problem. Okay. Black Panther, Striker is away. Let's go. Another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. That's how it goes. Bashinga, here we go. Nice. Excellent. It's what I've been saying, guys. Striker is away on Shuri. Or nothing. Striker is away on Shuri. Or nothing. Wow, that was very scary. Nani to Nando, boa noite. I beat the Destiny Dorm Morgan of Faye. In room 6 with New Warriors Apocalypse. Oh yeah, but that's too much. I've mind what a problem for, for your opponent. The Malorian, I couldn't clear Massive by Frost on room 2 and Extreme with Jobs on 5. Extreme with jobs on five. Th that's interesting. That's an interesting team. Because she applies the, the blind on assist. Need to think about that one. Might be interesting for that room. Yeah, Nadit. Começa hoje o Blitz. The Blitz started today. Let's go. Okay, we cleared two rooms so far. Two rooms so far. Oh, room four. Oh, I, I just remember now. I cannot use... Um, 
Oh, damn. I cannot use Undying on room 4. Because of the bug, right? Because of the bug, I cannot use it. And I cannot use... Um... I wonder if I could use uh, Kabbalah with Undying. Or I guess we're going to do some science. Or if, what if I use Cabal with Noir? Cabal with Noir. I'm not sure if the battery bill is going to spawn the taunter. Oof. Cabal to the moon for Kylna. I, I mean, I, I think if you care about Cosmic Crucible, that you should cabal, invest on Cabal anyway. But yes, yes. If you're gonna take if you're gonna take them to Kylna, if you don't have the underworld, then absolutely. PR Kevin, welcome back. How are you doing today? Still using the defense from the first day. Yes, I changed it. I made a new video about it yesterday or something. Two days ago, maybe. Oh man, I'm not sure what to use here. Not sure what to use here. Because the Sylvie is going to go extremely fast. And I don't think I can stop her. The best beast. What what's the best beach in Portugal? Are you serious? Like it's so many. There, there are hundreds of uh, if not, there are hundreds if not thousands of uh, amazing beaches in Portugal. Shaitan citizen, welcome back. Miss Milky, she is great. Uh, I mean, she's not great. She's very nervous. The the day approaches and she's very nervous about it. So I really wonder. I could go for the coin flip and take like my cavalo with um, Loki and Sylvie, my cabal with Loki and Sylvie, or uh, Apocalypse here, or maybe I should use the Seed Apocalypse. I heard that Seed Apocalypse works, but. Because I don't want to use Cabal and Apocalypse. That just feels like too much. Green Goblin on spawn. He gets Speed Virus. So we cannot use Cabal against him. So I have to use Cabal against 3 or Cabal against 4. I don't have scroll. I don't have scroll. Oh wait. I might have the... Dive mind guy. Let me open my calculator. So maybe if I use Emma Frost with the the so Sylvie, where are you at? Don't have Sylvie yet. Okay, we have one hour left. Let's see. We need Sylvie Speed and Sylvie Speed Bar. Characters. And the Sylvie Speed Bar is coming from Loki. Okay, so Loki. Sylvie. So Sylvie speed 115.
115. And she gets so much speed butter. On turn, mind control, focus, successful attack, applies bleeds. On enemy minion dead, death, fill speed bar by 15%. Loki, okay, no, we don't want any of that. Okay, so OG Loki. Fill the speed bar of Missy controllers by 10%. On spawn, fill the speed bar of Sylvie by 35%. So, 45%, right? 45% speed bar. So, that's 209. Wow. 209 might be too much for me. LR Ryuzaki, welcome back. So, this is not easy. So, Void Knight. Void Knight spawns with speed up. Okay, if Void Knight spawns with speed up, that might make things a lot easier. Void Knight. Okay, so in raids again, speed up. Oh, that's great. So I think I guess I guess I can use Cabal. So let's get a Cabal in. Cabal one, two, three, and now you want to Void Knight. And now, I guess, Void Knight. Who else? Who else can we use here? Void Knight for sure. We can bring other symbiote. Probably Carnage, right? Or Red Goblin. We need to put this guy in the corner. I'm not sure if... Um... Which is the best uh, I have mind to use here. Red Goblin, maybe. Or Gwenam for the... I'm not sure if Gwenam, if she gains offense up. Let me see. So Gwenam... When this character or a Hive Mind drops, okay. Yellow Symbiote. Dodge Chance, Drain, Focus. Spider-Verse allies for focus. She's gonna start with her ultimate. In right supply stun. I think I have to use uh, Emma Frost. I think I have to use Emma Frost. 
If I don't use Emma Frost, the, the other team will go before mine. Okay, we're gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Cabal plus Emma Frost and uh, Void Knight. And the goal is to stop uh, the Sylvie and, uh, and smash. But for that, we need to have enough time to attack the enemies. So here we go. Let's see what we can do if we can get enough speed bar in order to destroy the enemies. Not sure about it. It's all about uh, the... My boy Neymar. Okay, so most people use uh, the... You can use the ultimate or the special. We're going to use uh, the ultimate because we want to be able to block everyone, not just a few characters. They got a defense down. If you don't know why, it's because with Cabal, they cannot get safeguard on defense. Big damage. Here goes Neymar, big turn wine to the enemies. They all have slow. There we go, nice. The lead, what? How did the leader die? What? What just happened? How did the leader die? Bro, that was ridiculous. How did the leader die? That was kind of crazy. They didn't... What? They didn't even attack. <laughs> was it a mind controller? Check the replay. I think Neymar killed him. Wow, that was a very good counter. Bro, it's a 5 red, 5 yellow, level 99 leader. 99, yeah, level 99. That was kind of insane. Yeah, wow, well, th that mind control was crazy. And yes, defense up and deflects. So they don't have safeguard because of Cabal. Okay, yeah, Neymar killed him. So my Neymar is three diamonds. And he killed the... Uh, he killed the leader. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that, that was hilarious. Yeah, three diamond Neymar. Yeah. Three diamond Neymar. It's deadly. It's very, very deadly. Okay, so far so good. We cleared what? Two rooms already? Three rooms. Or two? Two. Three. Okay, three rooms. How much time we have? 45 minutes. Okay, so we still have Apocalypse, which is good, good. Good, good. Mm, I really wish I had Vulture here. And this Superior Six, I guess I'm gonna sack the team. I might lose the match because of this sack, but I don't think I can one-shot this. Can I one-shot this? So they have Craven. If I try to one-shot this, the problem is that uh, I might not have an option for the next room. Okay, so we still have Masters of Evil. So I could try... You know what I could try here? Dead Seed... Uh, with the uh, apocalypse maybe that seed with apocalypse here no i cannot use that seed because i need the echo it it, it might work that seed apocalypse here but my that seed is not big enough Let me think about it. So the Noir. So I could remove this Noir from here and put Phoenix.
Try to trigger the Doctor Doom. Cabal is overtuned. I mean, uh, Cabal had to, had to be overtuned. And no, you cannot use Undying on room 4. There is a bug that the Gregs die instantly. So that's the problem. There is this problem now with uh, Undying that the Gregs in room 4 die even before they have a turn. Okay, where is my Phoenix? I'm just not sure if I can push the Doctor Doom. And it's 50% chance if uh, Noir attacks Juggernaut or Phoenix. We're gonna try it. We're gonna do it for science. The Doom bots die as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try Undying with the Phoenix and the Doctor Doom in room number three. This is the room where uh, characters assist if they have offense up. So we're gonna play Roulette. We have 50% chance that Phoenix will be focused on. If that's the case, maybe you can win. Other, otherwise, uh, I'm not sure about it. I should make this guy striker. Oh, I'm not sure. I think the zombie juggernaut is going to die anyway. I should have here Dormammu instead of, of the zombie Iron Man. Or I can use here Apocalypse instead of zombie Iron Man. And then pray that Masters of Evil can carry on the next room after Saka. Yeah, that might be a good option. So, Apocalypse, Doctor Doom, Phoenix. Okay, yeah. So, we're going to use Undying with Phoenix, Doctor Doom and Apocalypse. The goal is for uh, uh, Doctor Doom to get triggered. And uh, Phoenix to die. But we'll see what's going to happen. This is for science. We're gonna see if it works or not. And then we have some problems on the next room, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do after. Okay, so here we go. He attacks the Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom got triggered right away. Zombie Juggernaut died. And uh, we got uh, the Apocalypse for the run, I hope. Let's apply vulnerability there. And uh, let's apply vulnerability here. Okay. Let's stun uh, the Nightcrawler. Wow, he has a lot of health. That's kind of crazy. Okay, he's stunned. Wow, they are healing so much. That's quite crazy. Okay, Forge, have a good night. Let's, let's do what? Let's smash over here, I guess. And you have to finish that uh, Nightcrawler, which is massive. So let's see, three diamonds apocalypse or, uh, or Nightcrawler. Okay. I guess you'll go with the Nightcrawler. Let's go after this guy. Is Phoenix going to survive? I think Phoenix is going to survive. Okay, all the Doom bots are destroying the enemies. Phoenix now with their basic to clear the stealth. And Apocalypse with assist. Okay, there we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, Noir Raider. He did too much damage to, to the Doctor Doom. Okay, we, now we have to sack these. I'm not exactly sure how to sack it. This one is definitely going to be a problem. So we're going to do... 
We're gonna go take Sack, I guess. Take Sack with uh, one Spider Verse character. So Spider Verse. Pavitre, we're gonna use Pavitre to bite the enemies. Pavitre, now we want. Uh, no, Pavitre is too strong. We need someone weaker. Spider Verse. Uh, Miles. No, we're gonna use uh, Symbiote Spider Man. Okay, so Symbiote Spider Man. Now we want. Uh, Cosmic. Now we want Minerva. Você Minerva, cara. Poxa. Where's she? Okay, Minerva, finally. We found her. Now we need uh, Kree. We need Kree because he turns when I Kree. Let's take the Drax. Let's go like this. And we should still uh, do these morphos. Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I guess we're going to find out. Let's see. The lizard is not super big, so maybe we can survive. Okay, we're going to try to sack this team. Oh, I should have someone uh, bigger. Maybe I still have to use the vision. So vision is a power armor. No, uh, by Bi Bionic Avengers. Bionic Avengers. So we're going to remove uh, Noble. We're going to put vision. Vision goes here. See what Spider-Man. Okay, so the goal of this team is for Lizard to go first, to kill everyone else. We're gonna drain those Mofos and hopefully we can trigger the the Goblin Ultimate as well. So let's see how it goes. Let's see if we have a chance. It's a sack attack. Let's go. 100% for science. Zero, welcome back. Andrew Silva, what's up? Tanao Mike Japan, what's up? Welcome back. Please, Minerva, survive. Okay, she survived. That's great. So, she's going to use her ultimate. But I still need the, the goblin to attack. Okay, and now we wait. Now we wait five minutes. Should I use the Craven ultimate? So this is room four, room four. So the they are still gonna have early ultimates after, but I think that this is the best way to go about it. I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna see if he kills the guys. Okay, he killed the guys, so we have nothing to worry about. Okay, so he stole ten percent of health, and uh, now we can go see if masses of evil are gonna do something against it or not. Uh, Waiting five minutes is fun. Oh man, I apologize. Sorry, you want... Oh, sorry, VNM. Okay, so Masters of Evil. And now I need Ultron. Two point three. Wow, my team is trash. Two point three million, really? My Masters of Evil are dog shit. Titanium 97. Oof. Okay, we're gonna get all of them to 98. Can't afford more than that. Okay, 98. 98. 98. 
and even Ultron. Ultron 1.2. Oh my god. Uh, Ultron, why are you so bad? We need to get some diamonds on Ultron. Okay, let's go. So we're going to use uh, Masters of Evil. 2.4, okay. So we're going to use the Masters of Evil against uh, this team. Full team. So we can uh, we cannot apply vulnerabilities anyway. Trash. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it goes. We have to stun the Goblin. We still have to deal with the Craven. I might actually have to stun the... The Craven. The Goblin is going to rewind the... That guy over there in the corner. Let's use a special to remove those positive effects to get some speed bar. We can start with the ultimate and apply defense down to them. Is that a good idea? Turning wind is always good. Okay, yeah, let's try to do that. We're gonna do the turning wind. See if the town drops. Okay, the town dropped. Can we stun now the Goblin? We can stun the Goblin. Okay, let's turn the wind and stun the Goblin. Okay. Ultron is going to restun the Goblin or re-rewind the Goblin. We are going to... Ability block the Craven. And uh, no, we're gonna be able to block the lizard. We almost died. Well, okay, so one, two. Now, this guy with his ultimate uh, lets delete the. That guy over there. Okay. Absorbing man, and now we need a taunt. Down, down, down to. So the special does the down to. Okay, offense down and down to. That's what we need. Titania with the basic. Delete that guy. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is why I was afraid of the lizard. Okay, special. Let's delete that mofo. Striker has a way to. Oof. Okay, let's go for the down to. Basic, nice. Titania with her special again, okay. And now Kang, please. Seal the deal. Wow, he give a bunch of speed bar to this guy. Okay, good night. Come again tomorrow. Okay, there we go. We had to sack this, I might have lost because of this sack. But at least we're gonna full clear. Lessons learned. I beat the ambassador all today in CC. It was over 30 million punch up. Awesome and awesome. Congrats. And now we have to clear this. Oh my god. How are we going to clear this? So we have this guy. This, this. We need a cosmic hero. Okay. And we need someone fast and furious. So, our light, she goes first. We could bring here Spider Society. We could also use that seed here. That Morgan of Fire was very annoying. Way too many Mystic, right? Five symbiotes, full Pegasus. Okay, let's see if full Pegasus can clear this. I'm gonna remove this Mofo. I'm gonna put Nova. Nova is Cosmic Hero, so he gives more stats to Kestrel. And uh, he might go before Morgan Lafay. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see. Pegasus plus Nova versus these Room 6 leftovers. Let's see if we can full clear or not. Uh, this is the last chance we have to full clear. Okay, our light still goes first. Robbie Race also goes first. Yikes. And now we're going to stun on that Morgan of Fire. Yes, we can. Good, good, good. Defense down for everyone. Nice. Our light is already out of here. Special for slow and disrupt. Great. And now rescue with our basic. Let's go. Rescue for the win. Okay, I'm not sure if we're able to clear. I felt like two or three attacks. But we learned a lot of good things that we can use uh, in future matches. It's not important to win at the beginning of the season. What matters it is to win on the last week. But 48, 950, let's see the result. No result yet. For sure there is a result. It's just uh, the game that is lagging. Okay, wow, 50, 150. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. That's some insane score. So, War Dogs versus Infinity Watch. Then, I've Mind versus Extreme with Rogue. This is a bad sign. This means I have to remove this team from here. But that's a, a, a big I've Mind. Pegasus. Okay, yikes. Masters of Evil with Apocalypse and Doctor Doom. Okay, wow, one shot on this room. Damn, that's scary. Three Diamonds, Doctor Doom. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, new Warriors here, okay. And the Cabal with Vulture and Omega Red on uh, on Room 6, really. Damn. Okay, we have to watch these replays. But wow, congratulations. Great job being able to unshot uh, all those rooms. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Okay, yeah, we can we can watch. Okay, so I've mind versus extreme. But this is a bigger than usual I've mind. This is the Void Knight already has diamonds. So let's see. So the rogue is slow. And they go first. They actually go first. So was it a bad luck? Carnage dies. They have safeguard. But they still get ability blocked. Okay. Carnage revives. Was this like bad luck? Wow. They have ability block. What? How does Forge has ability block for three turns? Rogue with a taunter. The Red Goblin doesn't die. Okay, Nightcrawler with his ultimate. Slow on everyone. Look, what? What was that shit? The guy had red health. What? Oh. What? What? What was that? That was very weird. But why they have ability block for so many turns? Two turns of stun? Two turns of ability block on all characters? I mean, I'm not sure if it was bad RNG or what happened, but... Uh, this looks a little bit strange. His ultimate extends all negative effects in raids. Yeah, but he, he gave three turns ability block.
I mean, it, it's, it was not an easy match. It was not a free match. It was definitely not a free match, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, if they... If, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure, yeah. Pegasus here, I'm not surprised. Now, I wonder about this room, if they get they get offense sub. Uh, what I don't know for sure, this, this room was for science. Because I'm not sure if they get the, the offense up and they still assist or not. So they got offense up. Are they going to assist? They were assisting, but on, uh, on rescue. So they are, they are assisting. Okay, so the problem here is the size of my team. My team is not big enough for them. My team is like level 95 or so. I'm not even sure if it's 95. So yeah, this works, but my team is not big enough. Okay, cool. It works, but it's not big enough. Okay, so... Now we have this one. So only the Apocalypse Survivor. About that, I cannot do anything. He, I guess it's still a good counter, right? He has he used a Doctor Doom Apocalypse. And a 3 Diamond Kang. So I'm still going to count it as a... Um, a nice attack. If the new warriors here versus Gamma, okay. And then this last room. So this is against Scrawler. So my my well, my question here is that I'm not sure if uh, with the photon, if Firelight goes fast enough. And use of the Vulture, right? So yeah, use of the Vulture. Slow on our light. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's the same problem with the other room. If you get to turn your wind on the wrong character, you don't know for sure what's going to happen. We are not applying any bleeds. They're applying tons of bleeds. Okay. So what this means is that I have to create a, a different trap to force the vulture in another room. So those are two situations where uh, you have to create traps to force to use the vulture. Once again, it's not a bad team, but you have to create a trap elsewhere. But Morgan Lafay here, I, I don't think she did anything. So Morgan Lafay here might be overkill. And might be better just to use the Photon. Or some other villain. Yeah, Vulture goes here. Maybe Emma Frost here would be better. The Robbie Race goes, but he attacks on, on, the, on the corner, like... <laughs> Oh my god. And why why Morgan Lafay Oh yeah, because Morgan Lafay also gets stopped by Okay, so Morgan Lafay here does not work. I have to use Emma Frost here. If I use Emma Frost here, then I have to use the cable on offense, which which I guess is fine. But does doesn't Titania? I mean, yeah, but then you don't have them in other room. Okay, so Morgan Lafay here didn't do much. Villain.
Maybe I should put the Robbie. Robbie behind Art Light because Robbie is the one that is not affected by speed bar mechanics. Okay, we're gonna put like this. Yeah, 15 minutes left. Okay, so that was... I think that's gonna be better. Because it will affect the enemy team. Or they are not affected by Emma Frost. I'm not sure if they are affected by Emma Frost or not, to be honest. The Dormammu here, the Dormammu here was lame AF. Maybe the Dormammu would be better on room 6. Or uh, room 6, or uh, actually... What Mockingbird does? Mockingbird, is she the one that gives the health or the one that gives the the speed? I think Ronin gives the speed. Mockingbird just gives 15% health, which is not a lot. And if Dormammu takes a turn, that's going to be extremely helpful against uh, that team. Flip to a negative effects. Okay. Spread positive effects. Okay, not a big deal. On spawn, she gains offense up. Fifteen percent health. Okay, so we're gonna remove her. We're gonna put Dormammu here. Dormammu skirmisher. Yes, please. And we can put uh, like this, or not? No, we're gonna. We want Nick Fury next to Ronin. No, 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 this is wrong. No, we actually need uh, Coulson here. Nick Fury next to, to Tigre. Okay. Hyper offense week one, I decided to try a bit. Uh, yeah, the defense worked very well. This is a similar defense to the one that uh, Juchi was suggesting. I think he had scroll on offense. Scroll here creates a problem because it forces the Cabal there, so it's definitely a good idea. Captain America here. I'm not sure if Captain America here is doing anything. It felt like he was not doing anything at all. The extreme with Noir, I think it works great. I don't remember which team I use it, but it's a good combo. I mean, it's a good combo, but I prefer to use Noir on offense most of the times. And the Superior Six with the, with the Black Knight, this was the team I suggested last, uh, last week or two weeks ago. So, of course, it makes sense. I don't like to use the, the the lizard on defense. Even that he was nice, I don't like to use him on defense because he's much better on offense against uh, Ortangle Web or uh, these guys over here. But it seems now that uh, it's better to use Dagger instead of a Lizard, so maybe that's a good reason. Infinity Watch with Quicksilver was very scary. So yeah, overall I think it's good. Dormammu on room 6 is also nice. I'm not sure if... Uh, it's it's all about the situation with RNG on room 6. If you can uh, flip the negative effects or not. Uh, but yeah. 
Okay, man. Good luck for the next uh, next uh, next match. And from here, characters I didn't use, so I could also use uh, the quick silver there. I need Ronin. I need this guy. I had no use for my Quicksilver. My Quicksilver here. I just don't get enough use of Quicksilver. That's why I usually put him on defense. It's just because I, I never know where to use him. Okay, so... We'll see. And this one you're gonna leave for now. Okay. For science. For science. Let's see how it goes. I mean, it was okay. It was okay. I think the results were fine. Are you guys ready for blitzing? We're gonna do one blitz rotation, then you're gonna do the war attacks. I, I think it was fine. There was some RNG into it uh, that could have uh, gone other way. Not ready for uh, for a blitzing. At least it's just two rotations per day. Let's see what you guys are doing in, in Alliance Wars. Fred Alferro, welcome back. How are you doing today? Barracks? Oh my god, why are we attacking the barracks? Don't attack the barracks. So cargo bay, armory. So the armory is down. So that means the security is down as well. Yeah. So why, why are you attacking this room? Okay, we're going to start with this infestation. The Serious for Hire now with Kang is a very good combo. It shuts down a lot of teams. My CC was not great. I had to 3-tap and my opponent was able to one-shot it. Check the DMs. Oh my god. Way too many DMs. <laughs> oh my god. I, I saw it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I saw it, Raging Nerd. I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Uh, it's, it's pretty hilarious. So, half, uh, I'm not sure if it's half of this community or more than half of this community. They hate me because I said something that uh, bothers some people. And yesterday someone sent me a bunch of DMs of people from uh, Anomaly Detected and from uh, Super Troopers with the the most one of the most disgusting conversations i have seen in a while uh so yeah double standards double standards are amazing and someone who's responsible that uh, content creator even envoy he says he doesn't give a fuck okay so it only goes one way mystery solver yeah yeah Uh, what I drink is just uh, how do you say water with gas 
plus fizz water plus some uh, vitamins or something so who was that it's one of them it's it's one of them i, I just don't have patience for this i am really the there is once again there is one side of this community that that is just so disgusting it's they 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 their attitude and their double standards is really too much to deal with. Really too much to deal with. It's just better to ignore it and, uh, and never mind about it. Okay, we have five minutes left. We're going to open it. Do you guys have the offers for the, the Spider India? Or not really. So the gold offers, the training material offers. Do you guys have those offers or? Uh... Oh, speaking of offers. Let's see what uh, position we are on this event. Ooh, nine, three, five minutes left. Okay, let's see if it holds. Five minutes left. Oh, wait, I guess I can spend some power cores. And get one more orb. Oh, I have exactly one orb. Right, let's open this one orb. Show me the money. Give me all those tombs. Green on, on the sides. Okay, 600. I'm going to get one more orb just in case. I think I didn't refresh the notes today. So just in case, let's open one more. Not sure if it's going to make a huge difference. Okay, how many fragments? One. Two. Another orb. And that's it. Two more orbs. I hope that's enough. Really hope that's enough. Blue in the middle, great. Let's see if it holds. Can we do CC right away before the, after you do the bleeds? Uh, we'll see, John, we'll see. We'll see because I have to do the right as well. At least I have to do one raid attack. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, water with gas. Here in Hungary, the the normal water is not very good, so I rather drink water with gas than uh, just normal water. Yeah, yeah, George. Yeah, the the problem is that uh, this community treats me very unfairly. But, I mean, what can I do? Alpha Raids. Okay, let's start these Alpha Raids. Okay. One node. Ooh, Alpha Raids. I still didn't make the Alpha Lines. Oh, yikes. Uh, we have new data mines. Okay, we have new data mines as well. Let's check those. Let's see. Yesterday, the data, the data mines were very weak. Let's see today. Great raid, green gear. Blue gear. Purple gear. Orange gear. Teal gear. Okay. Yikes. So, uh, Valley Flying was baiting the one of these videos yesterday, saying that there is a new Greek raid coming. I mean, three years ago, there was a, 
a data mine for a delta rider but uh, then the delta right was was converted into the gambit rider okay so all these new data mines are nothing so there is nothing here nothing to see bg2 what's up it already started it already started there is a link already in the videos it already has two posts one for crucible one for water i'm going to try to update it like weekly or so and uh, improve as we go any suggestions are recommended sparkling what oh yeah sparkling water pedras oh no pedras sucks oh no no way i hate pedras only freeze freeze is the way to go freeze rudella <laughs> quick draw they don't treat you unfairly they steal all your ideas so you know they are paying attention like so last week this is really unbelievable last week Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, or two weeks ago, or I don't know when it was, or two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, when we first had the news about the rooms for defense, I had already talked about that Superior Six with with the Black Knight, and then, and then Porky Pad, Porky Pad says that this Nemesis guy, Nemesis guy, someone that has twenty subscribers on YouTube. And uh, I don't know how many followers on Twitch. This guy, he came up with the idea of using Superior 6 with Black Knight. He came up with this idea. But the guy himself, he didn't even use the team that supposedly suggested. And then uh, Dorky Dad gave the credit to the guy. My video had almost 7,000 views. But this guy with uh, 20 subscribers that did a video... Uh, after mine, he didn't even do the video. I, I'm not sure where, where, where he's supposed to get credit from. So I, this is what I don't understand. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So the guy that no one knows, that doesn't use the team that supposedly he came up with, is the guy that deserves the credit. And people get pissed off about this. I, I don't understand, really. I don't have any problem with uh, with uh, giving credit. Yesterday, Boylan came up with the data mines before everyone. There is no problem. Boylan came up with these. When we take a look at content from Ben West side, Ben West side did this. Like, what's the problem? What's the problem? He said that Nemesis got it from someone. That's not what he told on the video. If he said that after, I don't know. I, I know what he, he said on the video. And uh, and he knows where it's coming from. He knows. He, but it's just the attitude. It's uh, I, I really don't understand it. What's so difficult? Okay, what time it is? Oh, it's time to blitz. Okay, let's do the blitz really quick. Uh, the event. Let's see if the event... Is, is the event working properly? I guess we're going to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna see if there is any exploit that we can use. Okay, so event started. We have to spend campaign energy and we also have to... The Blitz is on the web store. So we're gonna do the Blitzing first. I have the milestones open at the same time to see if it's working. Okay, let's see. One rotation. Let's go. The Blitz event is working properly. I cannot even open the milestones on the web. It's lagging too much. Dark Terminal, are we safe to spend energy right now? So be careful. You don't want to spend too much energy. It's just 200 power cores per day. So make sure that uh, you are spending the power cores when you need. So for example, for me, I have to do it in one hour. Make sure you don't waste. Okay, Blitz at 
Blitz credits always nice for the raid for the war attacks and also for extra gold. Let's see if you can do a full rotation without losing one single attack. Okay, Pim Tech. Let's go. Please don't lag game. Let's do this fast. Ooh, Dormammu, no. We're gonna skip that. We'll go back in a second. The leader with Masters of Evil. Yeah, man, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand that, but sometimes, like, uh, it's, it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating that uh, every time I go on Twitch, I just see people talking trash about me. For what? What I did this time? Like, I have not done anything or said anything like ultra controversial for like three years. And people are still t talking trash about me every day. For for what? Like, for what? Like, stop. Enough. It's just the, the escape goat. It's just the escape goat. Everyone's just jerking each other off. And they need a escape goat. Okay. All I know is that my Blitz teams are amazing. Let's go. So far, zero losses. Hopefully, that will be the case. We have 55 teams. So, we need 55 winners. Silver Surface Trash. Uh, yeah, we're not going to use that. Uh, those enemies. Um, this this is a little bit risky. Namor. Oh, that's a big Namor. No, no. We're going to skip that one as well. Adam Warlock, Shang-Chi. That's a big Shang-Chi. Yeah, but uh, Kitty Pride now, she's very good. Very, very good. All those evasions that she gives and the healing. Very good. Okay, we should be able to beat this one. And now Silver Surfer, please, bro. Oh, yeah, Luke Cage, yes. Silver Surfer versus Luke Cage. I hope Silver Surfer wins. Okay, power armor, let's go. Latest and greatest bleed steamers. Let's go after this one. Val smashes. They should really fix Blitz in a way that it doesn't lag anymore. Captain Marvel, oh, I'm gonna lose this one. Okay, we won, but I, I was scared for a second. Black Order, let's go versus Underworld. Lizard, let's go. Should be fine. We have blinds, we have uh, immunity, we have big rewind. We have yellow jacket. Yellow jacket versus that team should one shot all of them. Weapon X. Okay. Oh, I forgot. You, you sh we should have saved the, the daily milestone. That daily mission that gives the 750. We should have saved that for this event. Okay, let's go. Eternals. Apocalypse Spider Punk. Yes. Apocalypse is the big daddy. He carries everyone. Uh, this is what? Uh, some sort of dead seed. Okay, no. No Eternals. I think you can beat this one. Even if Gamora revives, Kraven should delete the Emma. Black Widow, I'm uh, not sure about that. Okay, this one. No one throws rocks at a tree that uh, doesn't give fruits. That's a great... Uh, oh, I never heard about that one. That's a great, uh, a great expression. Jose Ximenez, where are you from? I never heard that expression before. Let's go after this one. Oh, you don't... I thought I had Kestrel. Kestrel is not here. Okay, should still be fine. Yeah, okay, so Doctor Doom. Let's go versus Hawkeye, yes. Yes, please. I think we are halfway through. Let's go. Vulture, yes. 
we have a good chance to win in blitz battles because yes that's also true if they would put diamonds on the blitz teams that would be pretty ridiculous okay Aaron patriot now they should destroy seek and destroy infinity watch with the power armor Power Armor, they really need a rework. This Iron Heart, she's decent. But she needs a little bit extra speed. Okay, so Marauders. Big Emma Frost and Big uh, Mystique. I should win. Okay, I'm, I was not sure. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Throw rockets, <laughs> rocks at the Groot. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good one. How much energy per day? So it's full energy plus power cores. 200 power cores. So it's around 1000 energy per day. It's around 1000 energy per day. Okay, so we have... Uh, uh, let's see. I'm not sure if I can beat this team. Oh no, this is a mistake. Okay, I didn't attack. Okay, great. Ryan, welcome back, Brian. We are doing some uh, Blitz attacks for the new event. You are welcome to join us. So yeah, you have to spend 600 energy plus 200 power cores. In energy. That will allow you to get the, the limit, which is 56,000 points. Unless they remove the limit. Maybe they remove the limit. We're going to take a look at that in a second. If I have 8,000 energy... No, no, uh, Dark Terminal, I would not recommend that. If you have energy saved, you still want to spend your power cores to make sure you sa you keep saving that energy. See all. I mean, there are ways. There are ways you can seem all of them. I just cannot tell you about it. I don't want to put a bigger target on my back. Oh, what? What kind of loss against this garbage team? Are you kidding me? What is this? That's really unbelievable. What was that? Oh? That was ridiculous. How did Wakanda lost against that team? How? No comment. That was very strange. It's like losing against this team. The only special character I had, they had was like Captain America, I guess. Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, Invaders. Cloak OP. Yeah, I guess. I guess Cloak just one shot at the... I mean, but they are so much faster than Cloak. Unless Cloak had the infinite dodges or something. That was very strange. This event is quite easy, didn't you? You have to do two rotations per day and you have to do non-stop blitzing on Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, non-stop blitzing. But on the other days, it's just two rotations per day. So it's easy. Most of the time, yes. <laughs> oh, poor Wakanda. Wakanda, they were always... I mean, they were never, like, amazing, right? Even when they were part of the Crucible meta, they were just... Uh, they were like, hey, they were, they were never S tier. They were always A tier. Not sure what uh, Scopely has against Wakanda. Okay, I think I'm almost done. Deadpool. Uh, ooh. That's a scary team. Black Widow with Iron Man. Uh, better not. Okay, here we go. The non-stop blitzing is a special event on Saturday and Friday. 
You think it Loki was there? I didn't notice that Loki was there. I noticed there was a Captain America and the Cloak, but not other guys. Um, okay, that's Seed. That Seed with Lady Strike, please work. This is very dangerous. That big, gigantic Val there. Okay. Always stressed on that Seed. Black Widow. Big Thor. Mm, uh, we can try, I guess. Uh, no, better not. We're gonna play safe. Okay, yes, this one is easy. Are we supposed to get uh, planetary orbs? Yes, yes. So on Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday, you can get planetary orbs, supposedly, supposedly, from the Isolate Art campaign on specific nodes it should be a total of six nodes but it could also be four from uh, from my opinion it's not worth it it's just not worth it you can you can get like half orb per day or something it's it's very little and you have to mostly refresh the nodes if you want the extra and it doesn't make sense to spend the power cores you are better off you are better off just spending the power cores now on the Peter B. Parker. The milestone rewards are not very good. So yeah, okay, I think I used all teams. So 55 teams and we got one loss. Not the worst, I guess. Not the worst. 55 teams, one loss. Okay, let me check out the story. Another gold calendar, really? 12 million gold for $20. 12 million gold for $20. Okay, interesting. Over 20... Bro, 28 days for 12 million gold. Oh my god, what's wrong with this company, really? I really don't get what's wrong with this company. Okay, guys, buy the Mantium, please. Do yourself a favor and buy the Mantium. Okay, let's see. Sparrowway, welcome back, boy. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? Have you guys done your Blitz? Not yet. Titanium Alloy, Vibranium. Let's see, what diamonds are we going to buy today? Carnage, Titania, Noir to 3. I really have to, to think about what's going to be my next 3 diamond character. Most of the nice ones are already done. Maybe Noir, but I'm not sure. So, 12 million gold for $20. Divide by three, that's three million gold offers. So, I mean, it's not amazing. The other calendar was much better, unless it has orbs. If it has orbs, then it's not the worst. It's similar to the other calendar. Yeah, we have, uh, yeah, you should do two rotations of leads per day. And on Friday and Saturday, you have to do eight rotations. The Blitz code, it's on this video. Right here. Do this now. Halfway through the video. This part, the code is right here. Okay, let's take a look at the offers. So yeah, the event is working. Finally open. And uh, one rotation. 1000 credits. So this means you have to do two rotations. Plus that bonus from the the daily missions. And this is how we are going to get most of the planetary or fragments. The Adamantium supposedly is for the, the new legendary. Supposedly. I think some... I, I, I'm not sure, but I heard some envoy was buying a lot of Adamantium. 
So that might mean something, right? Let's see. Did, what rank did he got on the Zombie Juggernaut event? Please tell me I'm top 1000. 68. Okay, 885. I like that. So that's one Diamond Juggernaut plus Aldis Mutant Gear. 36. I need 90, right? For Apocalypse. So, so I think I have enough for, uh, for Apocalypse. Cool. Tony Sweet, welcome back. Uh, silver promo credits, yeah. Okay, taking a look at the store. Is the store like... Uh, okay, yeah. It's working fine. Uh, okay, we have the offers for uh, the Spider-Man Pavitre that were missing yesterday. So this gold calendar... Okay, it has a few orbs. So two, four... Uh, Six, six plus three, nine. So it's like the other one. It's not amazing, but it's okay. For $20, for each $5, you are getting like 3.5 million gold. Which, once again, it's not amazing, but it's not the worst. It's not amazing, not the worst. Okay, but let's go up. So we have the free claim here. Oh, this is nice. So I have Planetary Orb, plus this one. Let me open the, the math for this event. To see how far we can push this event. So, in theory, the next Legendary is going to be Old Man Logan. And uh, you're going to need uh, Adamantium for that, right? Supposedly. Free climb. The free climb is 500 plus 500. Is the event 7 days or 8 days? 7 days. Okay, so that's an extra 3.5. And uh, this free climb after that. Two thousand, three thousand, and five hundred. So that's gonna lower the amount of uh, bleeds you have to do. Two thousand, three thousand, plus five hundred. Okay, so that's going to be 5k. 5k times 7, 35k. Milestone. So 250,000 points. Still not enough for the, the last milestone. Wow. Wow, 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 that's kind of crazy. Oh, but there is the calendar. We, we still don't have the calendar information. So if you buy all these $5 offers, you might get the... the last milestone with extra shards for the Peter B. Parker. But that's another $35. So we have to take a look at what's inside the orb. And if it makes sense to get those offers or not. You guys have already the calendar in your time zone or not really? And you went from the, the east? You're gonna see it in a few minutes, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see what's inside these orbs. 
Do you, do you have the calendar already? Can you tell us if it's like how many fragments we are getting? The calendar is only one orb and 200 normal energy. Wow, that's kind of garbage. Little lazy, I think I should spread my DPCs out and forget about 7 red scroll. Do you, do you already have 6 red scroll or not yet? I mean, 7 red scroll is very important for arena, so... If your scroll is able to do like 1 or 2 attacks on arena, it's very important. We got orange gear now on the blitz orbs. Progress. <laughs> okay, let's reset the game. 60% battery. I have to do some raid attacks. And water attacks as well. Yutanak, what's up? Yutanak coming back with the LVP. I hate. To play MSF, you need to skip playing for 7 months, stockpile 1 billion gold, so after you can finish Titan Mission 7 first. Yeah, I, yeah man, I, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. So, for example, and this is not only the LVP, like, different people do the same thing. Like Mobile Gamer, he does something similar as well, which is stockpile your uh, war credits or cosmic crucible credits or whatever credits you have or blitz credits or anything like this sure like if you if you if you hoard the yes there will be at some point in time where hoarding gave you some benefit it's usually not a big benefit so what's going to be more beneficial? To have your characters like ready to do Cosmic Crucible Alliance Wars and so on, or having this very big pile of uh, hoard credits of Blitz or uh, Raids or whatever, and then there is that one day where it becomes beneficial to you and everyone else. So, I mean, yeah, sure. LVP is starting faster than everyone else. You might get Mephisto one month before everyone else. If so, but he's not even doing it free to play. What I don't understand is that he's talking about this, but he already spent three hundred dollars just for that dimension alone. Guys, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. So, in my opinion, you should have you should have a, an, a level of uh, resources. So, for example. You should have around 30,000 Blitz credits. That's fine. But if you have more than that, then you should spend it on, uh, on obtaining more gold. Because more gold is more levels on your characters. The raid credits. Right now I have too many raid credits, but that's because Scopely doesn't give us a way to spend those raid credits. So in that regard, you cannot spend it. But for example, the, the war credits... You should uh, grind those uniques to see if you need uniques or not. You should grind those uniques. The same goes for Teal Gear. If you buy the battle passes, there is no reason for you to save these credits. You should spend these credits as fast as possible to get as much gold as possible, as many uniques as possible, and as much training materials as possible. And then you get to a point where you don't have to spend, but to hoard for no reason for like one year or so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I'm going to lose on Cosmic Crucible Alliance Wars and so on just because my characters are not big enough, I think that's so for a way more frustrating than that dopamine spike I'm going to have like after one year. One time per year I get the dopamine spike. I'm not sure. Once again, like there are, for example, now or on, in the last month or so, you should have been hoarding power. power Premium orbs, right? Last month we should be hoarding premium orbs. But right now we have multiple reasons to open those premium orbs. So there is no reason to hoard them anymore. So you need Star Brand, you need Ghost Rider, you need Black Knight for the next legendary. Hit the sum. 
next year call, next year call her salmon it's possible the guy you played my cc is in uh, our alliance yeah the guy is good the klepto right the, the klepto he had a good defense awesome yeah i mean why not right why not they already put gear, so 10,000, like, bro. Let us to spend the, the elite raid credits and these raid credits for the... We can spend the raid credits on the teal gear, but at least let us spend some elite credits on the crimson gear. Three spider, what's up? The color after crimson supposedly is uh, it's some kind of rainbow. Seven planetary orbs, thirty-seven shards for PTB Parker. That's pretty decent, no? Five shards on average. Okay, where is the orb? So we have two orbs to open. Two to thirty. Two to thirty. Uh, it's good that they don't have just a uh, one drop. Training materials, okay. Gold, gold, okay. I like that. Right pillar. Oh yikes. Okay, I don't know. Save the orbs and wait for the, the C theory. Yes, honor, but I mean, when you are popular, your alliance for sure is going to carry you. Okay, so 8,000 points here. So if on average you get um, five shards, Plus the shards that we have here. Yeah, I think it's possible to get the um, four stars on this guy. Yeah. And the milestones. Yeah, if you buy those $5 offers, you should be able to get the these 20 shards plus the 3 million gold. 3 million gold, uh, they try to sell it for uh, around $10. So you are uh, you are paying 35 shards, you are paying $35 for the milestone points. You might also get some extra gold as well. I mean, it's not the worst conversion rate ever, but uh, it's not great either. Not the worst, but definitely not the best. Free to play, you free to play. You should be able to get milestone sixteen, but beyond that, uh, it's gonna cost you a little bit. If you, I mean, if you are light spender, I guess it's it's not the worst. But not amazing by any means. Like I always say, it's better to spend on events that they have leaderboards. These events that don't have any leaderboards, you're getting some extra value, but it's not like a huge amount of value. Okay, I want to spend, uh, yes, 120. Let's spend 120 here. So this will allow to participate in the event and not at the same time complete this okay nice really wish they would uh, release green goblin awaken abilities i i don't understand why they didn't do it yet it doesn't make any sense it, it makes less and less sense so what's the real the deal with the raid credits and why we should have crimson gear on the raid store they already announced that uh, instead of three legendaries per year, that now you're going to get only two legendaries per year. Two legendaries per, per year plus one Dark Dimension character. So we went from five uh, to four, four to three, maybe. So maybe we are getting three legendary characters per year. So two legendary official plus one Dark Dimension character. And uh, all these Elite Raid credits they're going to keep stocking up, like... 
we cannot spend enough uh, to to validate like i don't know like it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense that, that that's what i'm gonna tell you or they are going to use these elite credits to buy crimson gear when like a thousand people unlock mephisto or or i don't know like these awakened abilities they never made sense here if they would put these awakened abilities on the cosmic crucible store it would probably make more sense like this i don't i don't see it and include when a logman locking is uh, next next month next patch next legendary next month the first character of the new team comes this patch panda pool so the legendary should come uh, in may so that's gonna be one of my i think one of my or eight of my but we don't know for sure if they are going to unlo uh, release the legendary first or if the legendary is going to be at the end of the of the patch put him on the ultimate story time for another blitz rotation well please no oh no not yet not yet Tormento Todd, what's up? Welcome back. Okay, I have to do some uh, raid attacks and then uh, and then or do the crucible or do the um, the water. If I was Scobly, I would uh, do pocket dimension, lasting seven days every week. Yeah, yeah, that that would be an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in welcome back. Uh, time for water. Let me see my ray the energy. Okay, we have 30, 25 minutes. Uh, Arena has been a huge problem recently. People are going super crazy on Arena for some reason. I guess it's because of the three diamonds apocalypse. And something I noticed is that now, with the events we have, if you buy the two battle passes and with the just mid events, you get all characters at seven stars. So when they become farmable, you cannot even farm them anymore. Arena is being a problem. What beats Gamma on room three? And new warriors? New warriors destroy Gamma on room three. The wife, she's doing fine. She's doing fine. She's getting stressed out because the, the time is coming. Uh, so I don't know what beats this. I beat this without uh, the Black Knight. Let's see. She... She bird. So I'm going to show you the team I use it against something similar, but not similar at all. So I use it Spider Slayer, Lizard, Vulture, 2099, and Spider Weaver. Now, if you use Vulture, so this is the team that uh, Quick Draw is asking. Little Falker, thanks for the dono, very, very appreciated. Smash the like button, guys. Daily reminder. Thank you for the support. So, if you use your own Vulture, you're going to remove the speed up from this guy. And Vulture has a chance to remove the Taunt. If he doesn't remove the Taunt, your own 29 still has a chance of removing the Taunt. And as soon as you can, you want to use the Spider Weaver stun on Black Knight. Like I, I'm not a big fan of this team. I think Jutsi supposedly came up with this team. I don't think it's a big deal. And depends on the size. So, for example, here, if you have a big vulture, your vulture is going to one-shot this guy. So watch out for that as well. I would rather put here Spider Weaver. She gets the slow, but she also has speed bar. So she gets speed bar from the other character. So I'm, I'm not sure. Once again, I would use 
the hybrid team that I used here. This one. So Spider Slayer, Lizard, Vulture, and your own Tangle Web. Cabal. I mean, you can use Cabal, but if you don't need Cabal elsewhere. It's a very mid team. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. I, I think if you... If you're gonna break up the underworld, the unlimited and extreme, you are breaking up in unlimited or extreme, you are wasting your tangle web on defense, and you are putting Black Knight here that can get easily destroyed by this. Like I I really don't like this, but I mean shout out for Juicy for coming up with this team. Once again, for me it was easy win. Nice score. Let's see what uh, Ahmed used. So, used full superior six. So, there we go. There was some RNG to eat, but it's a small goblin. Goblin striker. Raider on Craven. I prefer Striker on Craven. Punch down, but uh, the don't be misled by the punch down because the it's because of this guy over here. But I, I actually prefer my team. I actually prefer my team to this one. Because this is a small black knight. And if it would be a big black knight, you probably had lost a match. But yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. We'll see. Okay, should you do the, the Crucible now or what? 50% battery? And I also have to do the, the raid attacks. And I'll try to make like a guide for the skill nodes with the Pavitre. Oh man, I don't have any gold. Oh my god, I need gold. I need gold. I don't want to take them to level 100. Did you guys saw the video from Mobile Gamer? Using this team, uh, the full team, 7 yellow, 7 red. Level 100. And they still failed to beat uh, the nodes. But I think on the test server, they still don't have the updated stats. I'm not sure. Must to prevent the immunity. Yeah, I mean, Masiru is nice, but I'm not sure if it's necessary. Okay, let's see. Gold, please. I need gold. Let's see what this guy has on defense. So, it has that same team that we were just talking about. Bigger. I mean, like, if you're going to use Black Knight on defense, why are you using him as, as a fortifier? You need a guy to, to shred. Okay, so Unlimited, Pegasus, Extreme. <laughs> Dark Cold with... Oh my god. Baby Dark Cold with Quicksilver. Infinity Watch. And then Morgan of I need to find a good counter for this Morgan of Fire team. But at least now we're going to have Caval, Caval. Yeah, we're going to have Caval. Caval Paveia. <laughs> Caval Paveia. And we can use uh, on room 6. Awesome, PR Kevin. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, uh, this is going to be a sleeper crucible. Shy bird. You gonna do it? You guys decide. Do this or do the water? It seems like my alliance is sleeping on water. Everyone now is using the same defensive setup and it's very annoying. The barracks. Um, no, let's go here in the middle. 
Be because like these, like this, we have to go around. We have to beat the barracks, then we have the security, and we have the cargo bay. So we are still going to deal with this armory here. So it's, it's annoying. So we should go, go like engineering, then armory, then security, and then uh, cargo bay. Here it should be the what the bridge or the the hangar the hangar here in this in this middle. Yeah, I mean I can do the war, but no one is attacking. Like I cannot attack alone. That's the problem is that I can't attack alone. Okay, let's see how they are doing. Oh yeah, we are using the new position. We are using my new position for water. Oh, it's working great. Okay, cool. Let's see if we have any defensive wins. Oh, that's not a lot. One, two, three, four. I mean, I guess. Can you explain how war works? And what uh, the best way to play it? The rooms. Uh, I mean, uh, are you like alliance leader? The rooms, they each room has a specific a specific buff. And uh, what you can do is to put put certain rooms together to capitalize on their buffs. And uh, like for example, we have the security. Security gives adjacent rooms defense down. So if you have the security here. Adjacent means up, left, right, and down. It does not go in diagonal, so keep that in mind. Then if you have the armory, so armory next to security. So the armory will have defense down and the security will have more stats. So what you want to do is to make sure that all the rooms are set up in a way that they are giving adjacent buffs to each other. And at the same time, protect your most important rooms. Depending on your alliance, your most important room might be cargo bay or bridge. Depending if you are going full defense or uh, defense and offense. So we file a veil passive, which gives 50% drain if a character has dead proof. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, th that drain will stack, yes. The, the the damage, the drain is based on the damage you do. So if you do one million if you do one million damage and you have one hundred percent drain, yes, you recover one million health. Yes. But it usually only if you need to have like a you need to have one hundred percent drain and piercing damage because if. Uh, if you don't have piercing damage, the damage is not 100% by of your base stats, because you have to reduce the armor. The armor, yes. So, for example, this guy, he has 100,000 base damage, and you have an ability that does 500% multiplier. That means the damage that you are going to do is 500,000, right? But if the damage is not piercing then you have to reduce 73,000 damage of those 500. 500,000 damage. So instead of 500, you are do only de doing 435 or 25. And then depends how much drain you have. If you have 100% drain, if you have 20% drain, 20% drain out of the, the 400,000, it's not a lot, right? So depends if the ability has piercing damage or not. Depends if the enemies have defense down or not. And depends how much percentage of drain you have. But you can st st stack up drain. So if you have Phyla Veil and Starbrand, you can get 50% plus 30%. Or if you have Phyla Veil with, uh, with Gamma, Phyla Veil with Gamma, you also have 80% drain plus the healing that they have on turn. You mean a way to destroy the enemy rooms 
what you should kill first. I mean, to each team or uh, or what? You have ten rooms. It doesn't matter which room you kill first. Now, based on the teams, it depends. Okay, event ended. Let's keep farming Elite Five, Elite Fours, so we can do C theory next week. No Elite Fours. Wow. The order to destroy the rooms. So the room you should try to destroy first is Cargo Bay. Cargo Bay is the room that you want to, to destroy as fast as possible. The room you want to destroy last is the reactor. Because it's the most uh, annoying room. After you destroy Cargo Bay, you should destroy the, the armory. I mean, all that matters is destroying the cargo bay. No other room matters, it's just a cargo bay. After cargo bay is destroyed, it doesn't really matter which room you destroy. But cargo bay first, then security, then armory, then barracks, then the bridge, and then the other rooms, and leave the reactor for last. Michael C, welcome back. What beats I have mind scroll in room 4? Cabal, yes, yes. Last week we used Cabal with uh, Proxima and Vulture, I think. <laughs> Vingadores bi Bionics. Oh, that, that. Yeah, qu quase tudo, quase tudo. Dead Seed, não. Vê lá que Dead Seed, não. Tem de ser tipo. Tipo Eternals, alguma coisa assim, vai ser fácil. What time it is? Okay, 10 minutes. Yikes. Okay, so today we're gonna face uh, Shy Bird. Shy Bird is from the Alliance. Ching Chong Ding Dong. I don't know. Is this offensive? I don't care. Okay, it's some Chinese or Japanese Alliance. It has a house at the beginning. And after that, I don't know. It's the Alliance with the house. So he's coming at us with uh, how much TCP nas? Almost 69 TCP nas. Nice, nice. And uh, this is going to be a punch down for me. We are punching down 10 million. Yikes. Yikes. On defense, he has a weak sauce defense. He has a very generic defense that we have seen uh, the, the envoys talking about. Tango Web with Unlimited plus Black Knight on room 1. Then we have Pegasus on room 2. Extrema with Noir on room 3. Black Order with Silver on room 4. Infinity Watch on 5. And uh, Secret Defenders with Morin Lafay and Dormammu on room 6. So, because of the size of these teams, some of these matches are going to be pretty easy. Other ones not so much. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we have a chance. I think we have a chance of winning this. <laughs> we'll see. Medbay second. Hey, I'm I'm not a big fan of Medbay. Some people do. So the Russian alliances, they always go for Medbay second or or even Medbay first. I don't find Medbay super important. It gives like what uh, regions on spawn. Same defense from Mobile Gamer video, yeah. Yeah, it's not a big deal. It depends on the size and depends on the RNG. So Medbay first. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. So Medbay, apply to region to defending war allies. And two additional regions for the cosmic hero allies. I guess, I guess. Arena check. We are good, we are good. We are still in rank 2, so we have to wait and see. I'm going to try to use the same teams that we used on the, the previous match. I still think Lizard... Lizard plus the Tangle Web is going to work better in room 1. Pegasus, I'm going to mirror match. This extreme, I need to see what I used the one hour ago, because I don't remember. 
Black Order. This Black Order might create me some problems. Infinity Watch, I think it's going to be fine, especially because it's so small. And this, this Morgan of Faye is big. This Morgan of Faye is big. And the Robbie Rays, it's uh, three diamonds. Robbie Rays, three diamonds. That's going to be a problem for sure. I wonder if I have a way to one shot this Robbie Rays. I might use Cabal. No, Cabal, they don't have energy. Oh. This room 6, I need to find a good solution for room 6. A big ass warning. DTP with Bifrost. Is not to be under... What is DTP? Archer, what are you using? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in a second. My opponent used Pegasus. Really, Pegasus obliterated that team. Medway sucks, that's why. Yeah, yeah, second last, yeah. It's not it's like the engineering. The engineering and the Medway, not a big deal. You got rank one? Awesome man, awesome. Congratulations. What, what is this team that uh, Raging Nerd is talking about? What is DTP? New Warriors Apocalypse, easy solution. <laughs> Little Lace is not effing around. Oh my god, hilarious. I, I mean, I, I guess. I guess. I used the Apocalypse in which room last time? Oh yeah, I used the Apocalypse on that... Um, Extreme room, yeah. Deadpool by Frost. So why would Deadpool be a problem there? Cabal beat uh, Tango Web Scroll Eternals. If you use Emma Frost, uh, and no, yeah, actually, actually, it creates some problems to you. You need someone to flip that uh, speed up on spawn. So if you're going to use Cabal, use it with uh, Void Knight and Emma Frost. So S Sylvie goes even faster. So you are telling me that uh, Deadpool by Frost is more of a problem than the uh, scroll by frost. Okay, let's see the arena. Three minutes left. Okay, let's see if it stays like that. The guy is using superior six on offense. Okay, let's start off with this one. So we're gonna face uh, we're gonna face Infinity Watch, very small Infinity Watch. We're gonna use the striker as a way to Shuri. She should be able to shred this team. Striker as a way Shuri is the most important character that we have seen in the last few months. Completely changed the, the Crucible and War Meta. It's crazy. We're still gonna focus on that Moon Dragon, I guess. Okay. Let's get that uh, speed up. Good, good. We need to remove that Revive. Okay, turn wind. Let's spread the vulnerabilities. Okay, great. 
Now let's go after Moon Dragon. Ooh, that was not enough damage. Ooh, that's trash. Okay, let's go. Striker is away to one more. Yes, let's go. Shuri with the killing blow once again. Blind on uh, Okoi. Oh, that's very annoying. Blind on Okoi. Super annoying. Okay, let's do the ultimate here. On Phyla Vela. Blind on Okoi. That, uh, that is super unlucky. That might cost me the match. Now I have no vulnerabilities on Phyla Vela. Oh, she almost died. And she attacks in the middle, of course she does. So she gets a ton of barrier. Okay, let's see if Black Panther can delete her. Yes, we can. Let's go after this Gamora. Nice. Another kill. Now we have to attack this Adam Warlock. Remove the revive. <laughs> it's not unavoidable. And she kills Shuri. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Am I going to lose this? Am I going to lose this shit? And she didn't remove the revive. The Gamora alone is going to solo my team. It's amazing. Gear tier 16. Gear tier 16. Gamora. Let's go. Fucking hell, man. Seriously. Like, the luck I have in, on this game is really unbelievable. So, if I attack... Uh, is she going to counter? Now I'm scared. Now I'm very scared. Okay, basic here. Remove those counters. Naki is dead. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Getting that blind on... Uh, on uh, Like... Fuck, man. I, 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 I regret so much getting up this team. Like... What kind of is dog shit? Like, seriously, dog shit. It's trash. Like, bro, is this a Cosmic Crucible team? Are you kidding me? Gear T16 Gamora. Gear T16 Gamora. She shredded my entire team. 16 Gamora. Are you kidding me? Wow, that was absolutely insane. Dark Promos for 7 Red Juggernaut. The last level is 4,000. Let me see if I can show you the other ones. Wow, wow, wow. The luck is real. The luck is real. Is this the one? Here, I found it. Wow. What kind of the worst team ever? Can you see? Oh, yeah. So, Zombie Juggernaut, 3,000 and 4,000. Did you manage to get some diamonds on your Juggernaut with the event? Your opponents didn't have better rebuild. Oh yeah, we, I mean, without better rebuild, taunting, I, I'm not sure if, if it would be a big deal. The super scroll and by frost. What beats super scroll and by frost? Going to the movies. Take care, man. Have fun. Didn't realize Chavez Extreme shuts down. Chavez Extreme shuts down. Undying I've Mind Counter in water. Why would it shut down? How did it shut down? Sounds strange. I hate Wakanda, right? Like, really. 
not to be racist or anything, but I hate Wakanda. I, I think I hate Scobley because they made this, the team trash. Like, the team was never good enough. Even in war, they, they were never, like, good enough. They are just the mid of all mids. They are the mids of all, the, the mid of all mids. This is a super small team. Super small team. Look at this efficiency. 37, really? 37. Painful. Okay, so I removed Mysterio. What kind of forever trash? Bart, what's up? Welcome back. Chavez, I've mind this slap of gamma today. So I've minded they can be very thick. They are surprisingly thick compared to the other symbiotes. So that might uh, surprise some people. It might surprise people sometimes. Row goes first. On top of the... No, I mean... Zuxi has taunt, so... Yeah, I'm surprised that that Rogue went before uh, Zugs, but yeah. But you, you should only use your Hive Mind versus Scroll, uh, scroll Rogue or uh, Secret Defender Scroll. You shouldn't be using your Hive Mind there. Or your uh, Undying there. What can I use? Infinity Watch with Black Knight in 5. I don't know, man. Black Knight. Uh, I mean, you can use, you can try to use Tango Web with uh, Spider-Man Big Time and Eternals. Tango Web, Spider-Man Big Time and Eternals, and use the special of uh, Big Time to remove the revives. Okay, what was the team I used the uh, one hour ago? Let's see. So Lizard, Vulture, and Slayer, okay. Slayer, and now we need the 2099. Okay, so let's see. Can we survive? So Lizard. Yeah, I mean, Wakanda, they were never good. When Wakanda came out for the first time, they were supposed to be the Ultimus 5 raid team. They were supposed... Wakanda was supposed to release for the Ultimus raid 5, and they released them as a raid team for Ultimus 6. But they were tuned for Ultimus 5. So that was a massive controversy. Because people, people spent tons of money. It was when Wakanda was very popular because of the movies. So people really spent tons of money for, uh, for the team. T4s and so on, the team was absolute garbage. Because once again, they were tuned for Ultimus 5, not Ultimus 6. And then when they were made for, for, uh, for Cosmic Crucible, they were only good because they had like 100% extra damage, 100% extra health, 100% extra everything. So at least they should just make a, a small adjustment to Wakanda, like 25% stats or something, because the team is just so garbage. And Wakanda is not, I'm not sure how big is the Wakanda verse, but I doubt that Wakanda is like uh, 200 characters to pull from for another rework in the future. 
So, and this is why I said that I regret investing on the team because I really don't see a lot of value coming from them. Nakia does a few funny things sometimes, every now and then, but not a lot. Scopely does that to a lot of characters. Look at Wolverine. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Wolverine can be powerful with Uncanny, but on, even on Weapon X, he's kind of garbage. I lost the Tango Undying versus Chavez Extreme. Yeah, it's not recommended. Undying Extreme is good against uh, teams with Scroll, but if it doesn't have Scroll, then forget about it. But it can also not it can also not be nowhere, right? So if you see nowhere scroll, then you cannot use it because Nova one shots your uh, zombie juggernaut. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, my hybrid Superior Six Tangle Web versus the Black Knight uh, Wombo Combo. Let's see how it goes. So there's this guy as a what? As a raider? Or skirmisher? No, he's raider 5. Okay, we're gonna use raider 5 then. Okay, here we go. Tangle Web uh, Unlimited Black Knight versus Tangle Web uh, Superior 6. Let's see how it goes. What well, kind of should get an upgrade every Black History Month? Yeah, I mean, even if it's minimal, even if it's minimal, I think so. Okay, we have that offense up. We didn't remove the taunt. Ooh, that's a big yikes. Not removing that taunt is very problematic. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can remove the taunt now. Vulture gets the death proof. That's very helpful. Let's apply vulnerability to the rogue. Or to wow, that's a massive weaver. Okay, let's apply vulnerability to the weaver. I need my weaver to go now. So last time I one shot the the weaver. I might try to one shot here the slayer. I'm not sure if I can one-shot the Gambit. The Gambit is also causing a lot of problems. Hmm. We could do it for science, but this is a very dangerous science. Okay, I'm going to go after Black Knight. Oh, Striker is away. Okay, we got the kill. Nice. You're going to rewind this Mofo. My Spider Weaver still didn't take a turn. Come on, Spider Weaver, you can do it. Wow, finally. So here we go. Stun on this Weaver. And now it's over for them. Rogue with a slow. Mm, let me see. Okay, let's attack here. Now we have, uh, like, now it's impossible for them to win. So Rogue, she's going to clear the ability block. Okay, let's do the special. Get immunity. Striker is await. Turning wind on Slayer, okay. That one is unavoidable. Stun on Weaver. Yikes. Yikes, can we do it? I might not be able to do it. We still have one more turn on Rogue. Okay, she lost the stealth. Push this guy on stealth again. We have uh, two charges. So we're going to use the basic here. Lots of bleeds. Okay, he dies with the bleeds. And uh, we're going to go for what? Spider Weaver, she is as fast as Rogue. So we're going to stun her first. Okay, basic. Maybe here's Weaver's Skirmisher would be better. 
Okay, now we can just press auto, I guess. But yeah, this team is difficult. Like, if it was a, a bigger Black Knight, probably my team would not last as longer. And Rogue is still healing up quite a lot. Oh man, really need that Skirmisher to apply vulnerabilities. Another stun on Weaver, yikes. Can I even do this? Why is Rogue healing up so much? What the hell is going on here? Why is she healing up so much? Bro, stop! What is this healing on turn? What the fuck is this? Okay, defense up. What? How is she healing so much? Another stun? Wow. Wow, she's faster than Weaver now. How is she taking so many turns, bro? Like, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna use the special to heal up, offense up. Another sp What? Okay. I'm glad I didn't use the ultimate. Another special, another stunner. Like, bro, I I'm gonna time out. Oh, that's great. Fucking hell, man. What, what the hell just happened? Is this some kind of nightmare or something? Oh, this is ridiculous. How is she healing up so much? What the hell just happened? For this good animal. So the rider, the rider heals up. The rider heals up even if they don't have ability blocker. If this character has ability blocker, clear the ability blocker and heals for 10% health. So she's healing for 10% even if she doesn't have... Yeah, but she's she's getting more health even if she... No, the, her passive is only 10%. Her passive is only 10%. So she's, she's getting more 10% even without ability block. Very fucking annoying, man. Seriously. Okay, Pegasus Mirror Match. Machines. War Machines passive, which gives down to enemies. When they have health go below 50% health. Would be good with the Carnage, which gives him a 50% critical against enemies with Taunter. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah, I mean, the Room 1, it was full of bugs, yeah. The Room 1, it was full of bugs. All characters were applying ability block and so on. So this might be another bug. Because they are only supposed to heal if they have ability block. Short yellow buzz, welcome back. How are you doing today? I remember when Wakanda was Apex Ray team. Yeah, they were tuned for Ultimus 5. And they came when Ultimus 6 was... They came when Ultimus 6 was almost standing. It was before Ultimus 7. Like, it was super controversial. Should I have auto? I, I should have counted the, the turns. I should have stunned her. Right after she did the special. and But I didn't add any slow. The Vulture died too fast. Didn't add any character to apply the slow. Okay, Pegasus versus Pegasus. Let's see what happens. I don't remember what am I supposed to use here. I think I have to stun Rescue or something. I know I have to stun someone. I just don't remember who. So we're going to use the ultimate to remove the, the offense up. Of course, it got resisted. Because this game hates me. Okay. Now we're going to apply blind to... Blind or ability block. Let's see. I'm going to go with the blind on... Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if this guy ability is uh, unavoidable or not. I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, we got a stun on my Iron Heart. My Iron Heart and also the the Dark Hawk. Okay, let's clear those negative effects away. Wow, bro! What the fuck is this shit, man? What's up with this game? What's up with this game? Are we using the same team? I have a three diamonds iron man and my entire I my my character did zero damage. He doesn't even have diamonds. He doesn't even have diamonds and this guy one shot at my entire team. Are you fucking kidding me? He doesn't even have once again like look at the size of my iron man. Look at the size of his iron man. Mine has three diamonds. He has no diamonds. Yeah, I guess it's level 100. It has to be level 100 to have such a huge difference. Like, Can I remove the offense up? Oh, yay. We removed the offense up this time. Wow. And, and she... Oh, my God. Uh, and now I cannot revive him. Now he's permanently dead. Okay, great. Stun their rescue, okay. Landed. Delete their rescue. <laughs> My team does okay, wow, the guy killed there with the striker eyes away. That's super inconsistent. That that was super inconsistent. Okay, special over there. Of course my castle is blinded because why not? Why would my castle not be blinded? Okay, let's get the immunity on castle again. What? What? Man, I have the the worst RNG in this world. Like, it's beyond nonsensical. Really beyond nonsensical. I guess I shouldn't complain because the the rescue didn't block the the stun. Oh my god, what was this? Get rid of Castle first with the... Uh, get rid of Rescue with Castle Ultimate. Oh man, I, I, don't, I can't, like... My Castle is trash. Mirror for this match is dumb. Do you, do you have a better idea? What what's the counter that you have, Raging Nerd? Tell me. What's the big counter you have? You are is with Apocalypse, right? That's the combo. Uh, Cabal. Uh, Cabal with Kang on the other room. Okay, let's see. We're gonna use New Warriors versus Secret Defenders with Dormammu and the Morgan of Fire. We're gonna use Apocalypse to see if he makes funny stuff happen. Yeah, the mirror match there is not a problem. The problem is not getting the right RNG. Flips stealth. Flips three positive effects. Okay, let's see. She flips three. Okay, nice. We got the taunter. Uh, we're gonna do what? Turning wind these mofos. I'm going to ignore Morgan of Fight there. Since the other one has immunity. Apocalypse stuns the Morgan of Fight. Cloak with the dodge, okay. Basic, I guess. Uh, no, we're gonna do the spread anyway, because the spread heals the team. Man, the guy went right after Apocalypse. 
If I didn't add immunity on Apocalypse, the Robbie Rays would ability block him. That's the kind of RNG that I have. They go perfectly for the they go for the one character they have to to have the perfect RNG. Really unbelievable. Okay, Apocalypse drills the S of that girl over there. Special with this one or ultimate or something. Robbie Ray still does does one turn, but this is level 100 Robbie Ray. Makes sense. Okay, there we go. Mirror match has too much RNG. Their castle always deletes someone. That, that's why I use the ultimate on castle. So she doesn't... Uh, that's why I use my ultimate on castle to remove her offense up. Eternals plus speed Pegasus. No, not, not in room 2. Not with the, the raid bonuses. Okay, so far so good, or not really. Black Order, Quicksilver. Black Order, Quicksilver. So they get a speed bar. Is there any reason why Masters of Evil don't work here? Uh, so, Thanos spawns with speed up. Uh, and uh, the other girl spawns with speed up as well. Uh, Thanos has 50% speed bar and speed up and Kang, Kang spawns with speed up. I think he removes the, the speed up from the Thanos, right? I think Thanos even with a... Let me see. This one, uh, what, uh, Cabal, uh, so I still have the Cabal to use. So I probably have to use Masters of Evil here with, uh, with Echo. Oh, I have Dark Hold. If I have Dark Hold on, on offense, I still have Hive Mind. Echo back into the meta, yikes. Yeah, 15. You never know, man. You never know. Does he has Thanos Raider or not? He has Striker Thanos. Like, bro, get out of here. Striker Thanos, are you kidding me? Every time I see a Striker Thanos, I just on defense. I just want to slap uh, these people. Okay, let's see. Masters of Evil versus Extreme with Noir. Noir is Raider, so it should be fine. If Noir was Skirmisher, it would be pro more problematic. We have Echo to stop the assists. And, uh, and the team is not super big. But you never know, right? Okay, so Titania goes early. I like to use Titania special. Get those buffs from uh, that guy. Oh, I have to be careful. Should I just smash this guy in the face? We already have offense up, so... Can't we just one-shot Nightcrawler right away? Oh, he's gonna get revived. I forgot about that. I forgot about revive. Okay, but we can still stun him. Okay, let's go and stun him. Stun with Trauma. We don't have offense up on Kanga. That might be a problem. Noir just died with Titania Assist. Okay, great. Absorbing mana with uh, with what? Uh, let's use the ultimate. Titania is the only character with the with the offense up. 
Okay, so this guy is going to spread positive effects. Let's ability block him. So definitely need to do the Kang special here. Oh no, Echo, please don't die. Kang with a bang. Kang with a bang. Uh, let's get that to turn offense up. Or rewind. Just rewind these mofos. Moonstone. Okay, we're gonna use uh, the ultimate. Wow, Nightcrawler died again. Okay, cool. Is Moonstone going before Cyclops? <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Moonstone, she went before Cyclops. Great. Stun him before he does his ultimate. Nice. And there goes Moonstone. Uh, Moonstone. There goes Titania again. No assist. Why did why didn't Kang assist now? What happened now? He, he has offense up. Why didn't assist? Is it a fake offense up? Maybe it's a fake offense up. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, VNM, yes. No, it, it's on defense. You want your Thanos to be right there because you want to, to apply a lot of vulnerabilities. So Quicksilver can take advantage of those vulnerabilities. When you have Thanos on defense, it's just better to have Rider, so Quicksilver takes advantage of the the vulnerabilities. Like this. Who, who's applying the vulnerabilities? It's only Proxima Midnight. Have any more Rider? Like, what is this? Offer review. I mean, there is that... Um... So, offer review, it's easy. If you want to get to Milestone 18 on the current event, you should buy the, the $5 bonus offer. That is going to give you enough points to get your uh, Peter B. Parker to like uh, 4 or 5 yellow. Depends if you bought the offer or not. And uh, it's, it's going to give you a nice amount of golden character shards as well. So it's up to you to decide. $35 for the event, milestone 18. Then there is the, the gold calendar. It's not as good as the other one. But it's like, what, 95, 90%? 90% as good, 95% as good. Not the best, not the worst. Okay, Dark Old here. Dark Old and Dying or something. Morgan of Fey and Agatha. Do I, I should have a stun. A stun for Quicksilver. Spider-Man War here would be nice too. Make him go crazy. So if I use full Dark Cold, I can use Agatha to stun the Quicksilver. I don't have to use full Dark Cold, I just have to use Agatha. Okay, so let's change this. Which room is this? Unstable energy. This is room 4. Room 4, I cannot use this. Sh I cannot use this team. Yikes. Are the Greg still bugged here? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not thinking too much because if I go with this team, the Gregs are not going to spawn because there is some bug with this. Because this, bug, this, this game is full of bugs. Because this game is full of bugs. Cabal uh, with the uh, Eternals, I guess. Let's put the Dickerish here. Okay, let's see. Full Dark Cold works. Yeah, I think Full Dark Cold will be superior to, to something else. Let's see. Stun on uh, that guy. Okay, cool. 
Here goes Dicaris. Let's go Dicaris plus Kabala. Great. No turning winds on that guy. He goes straight for the leader. Let's stun him. He dead. Now Scarlet Witch with the, the Gigant Tomb in her face. My Undying does not do well in Crucible for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you. Undying is a good team for Crucible, but they need to be big. They need to be big. Otherwise. Do you know the last rating for the 1 to 3 percent? I don't know, but you can guess. I'm not sure if Simple is here with his side account. So the scoring was participating in water. Iron Crimson Tombs. I'm not sure if this I'm not sure if this event was available for new players. But this event might have a, a smaller 1% than other events. The 1% might be just 4,000 players. Usually it's like 6,000, 7,000. No, usually it's like 9,000. Usually it's 9,000 players for the 3%. 8,000, 9,000. This one, because it it's a, a special event, and actually, I'm not sure if all, all players have access to it. The three percent might be the the top four thousand players. You can check your alt. Okay, uh, okay. I'm not sure if you what what level. I'm not sure what level people are able to enter in this event. Maybe it's only for level like fifty four or something, and that's that's going to reduce the um, the board for sure. Okay, we have one last rogue. One last rogue. So, Juti, are you still here? I'm not sure if you are aware, but if you have your rogue raider, even if she does not have ability block, she still heals for 10% extra. Makes her almost impossible to, to kill. 35,000 on the Zog's event. Yeah, so the problem of the Zugs event is that I think a lot of people will have the same the same uh, score. There is uh, some difference at the top uh, rankings, like top 1000 rankings. Everyone is pretty close to 300,000, but then it goes a lot higher. But the, the top 1% and 2%, uh, the top 1% and the 5% might not have a huge difference in score. Uh, because it all depends on how many all stars and red stars you have on your zombie juggernaut. And uh, if you don't buy the character, like everyone will have the same score. Because everyone is spending the same amount of power cores and getting the same free claims. I thought it was not a, a good event. You don't have a lot of opportunities to spend sp power cores. Then you have that RNG from the orbs. I guess that would be the, the biggest deciding factor. Is that energy from the orbs? Okay, let's see. Let's use the Val here. Okay, let's clear this with the uh, Undying plus whatever else, just to clear the garbage. Rogue left. Rogue is healing up for too much in this room. So we're gonna give her some heal block. Let's see if we can apply this drop to her. Stun on Zombie Juggernaut, great. She already has heal block, so that's game over for her. Okay, Val Basic should finish her off. Great! I thought it was great event. My Zugs went from uh, six yellow, six red to one diamond. I mean, mine too. For me, the event was very good, but if you are free to play, if you are free to play, it was a trash event. Okay, wow. That's some trash result. Big shout out to Wakanda. Keep being garbage. 
So room one, we struggle a little bit with time out. The rogue with the raider is bugging out and she's healing for way more than she should. Pegasus mirror match. Bad luck. Then Masters of Evil with the Echo. Iron Patriot. Uh, okay, Eternals. Wakanda, man. Freaking Wakanda. Almost 1 million punch down. Almost 1 million punch down and a Wakanda struggles like this. What? Almost 1 million punch down. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And then a new Warriors Apocalypse. Uh, at least we... This is a good one. Okay, not the best, not the worst. So this is, these are most of the teams. If everyone is going to copy the Jutsi defense with the Mobile Gamer, you can pretty much use all the teams that I used. Except Wakanda, bro. Like, just throw Wakanda in the garbage. Wakanda is trash. I'm still waiting for the range, Raging Nerd solution for that uh, Pegasus. If not Mirror Match, what to use there? Cabal? You can't. The $5 offer after the free claim. The $5 offer after the, cre the free claim. Yeah, yeah, VNM. Like, for me, for me, this event was great. My zombie juggernaut was 6 yellow, 6 red. Now he's going to 1 diamond as well. So I can't complain about it. But in terms of uh, free-to-play access and in terms uh, of a leaderboard, I don't think it was a good, good one. Buy Frost. Yeah, but I mean, my Buy Frost is too small. I cannot use Buy Frost at this size. If you tell me that my Bifrost can solo them at this size, then okay, I'll try it next time. But I doubt that they can. I really doubt. F the free to play. Nah, man. Free to play is the, the most important part of the game. And I think that's where Scope really loses, is, is not uh, investing more on the free to play community. In other games, the free-to-play community does so much for the game. In, uh, in for example, ad advertising, of course, but uh, in creating merge, like uh, artists that like the game and like characters, and they are free to play and they make like artwork for the with the characters of the game. I see this happening a lot in in other games. But because here, here because Scopely hates free to play, then you don't have you don't have enough player base for even that to happen. The few examples we had that Archangel posted on uh, Strike Time video or whatever, it's like one percent or of what you see in other communities. Yeah, of course, like the more free to play players you have, the more people will come to this game. You think it's more important to have uh, a thousand people giving uh, reviews on the App Store or having 100,000? Now, let's be honest, let's be honest. The real reason why Scopely might not want to increase the player base a lot is because their servers suck. Can you imagine? If we had like double of the player base, double of the player base, how would the, the Blitz servers and the store, the website, how do, how do they work? They would not work, they would crash. So maybe that's why they, they don't want to increase too much the player base. They just can't handle it. You just need a better ultimate and they will pretty much bleed out. But Oro, was is not uh, is Castle not going to one shot my team right away? I can try that. If it's all about the better bill, my better bill is big enough. I guess. 
If it's all about a better rebuild, then uh, I can try tomorrow. Four twenty. Alti four is as to level five. One diamond. He's not level one hundred, but uh, if it's all about better rebuild, then I can try it next week or tomorrow or something. How do you plan to close the new rider, the Mystic Nodes? Uh, I'm not sure. Which raids are you doing, Bart? At level 80, I'm not sure which team you use. If if you should use by fraud, if I if I would be right now at level 80, I'd rather invest on new warriors for raids than uh, on uh, on Bifrost because new warriors they are going to give you value in Crucible and in raids at the same time because they are a raid team they they can raid all the way to to the Doom raids free to play players are also content for the whales yeah 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 those those whales need to be fed right those whales need to be fed, and if you don't have free-to-play players, then uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we don't have the results for this. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday. Okay, cool. 25% battery. Uh, the skill nodes, I, I have to update the lanes for my alliance. Vegas moves first. So, so, if, so Castle goes first, right? If Castle goes first, I have safeguard. If Castle goes first, I have safeguard and I have multiple death proofs. So I, I guess that even if my team is small, they are going to survive. So even with a small team, they should still survive. Just thanks for showing up. Have a great night. Okay, we're just going to clear these raids really quick. Alliance Wars, I'll do it off stream. It's just difficult. Like if uh, if everyone was live and attacking at the same time, it would be a great video for Alliance Wars. But like this, it's not good enough. Three hours, yeah, three hours. We are we are almost uh, we are almost gone. I don't have more battery. Twenty five percent. Okay, let's do this as well. And uh, I'm going to try to make like a step-by-step -step, uh, guide on how to use the, the four piece uh, of the Pavitra team. Spider India. I heard VNM really likes the second node of tech, so I, I guess I'm going to save it for him. And uh, I also have to take this Morphos... <laughs> I don't have gold. I need gold, bro. Where is the gold? I need to invest on, on my raid teams, but I don't have any gold. It's so dreadful. Kill the armory. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to clear this second node so you don't cry the... <laughs> on the tech nodes. Yeah, that, that second take note is definitely annoying. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Damn, the damage that Castle just took. She barely survived. Okay, let's stun the, the Weaver, I guess. Or the Gambit. Oh, you got both. Great. Special. The raids right now, they are uh, easy, but you cannot auto them. 
You just cannot auto them. Okay, let's go. It's because of Dark Dimension 7, like buying all that gear in Dark Dimension 7 doesn't allow you to keep up. And then you have the level 100, right? We still have level 100. I'm not sure wh where they could increase the gold. They could definitely increase the gold on the Cosmic Crucible Season Rewards. But I guess because they are giving already the training materials that they are not going to do anything like that. Okay, let's see. Remove the town to... I never noticed that uh, Iron Heart applies this rub. Okay, let's go with the basic. Uh, she didn't apply this rub to this guy. So does she only apply this rub sometimes, or what's the deal with it? Is it like fifty percent chance to apply this rub? Why is she not applying this rub now? Yeah, it seems like she only applies this rub sometimes. Or it got resisted. Maybe it got resisted. Yeah, I, I think the problem is that they are not giving away enough gold orbs. Even if you farm them, it's just not enough. We had that uh, Professor X campaign. I didn't understand what was the point of that campaign. Why we got that X-Men campaign, Professor X campaign? What was the reason for? What was that for? Alboros, what's up? You shouldn't use the castle special to put defense down because castle charged. Without trauma, your mirror match falls short. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. I have to, I have to review my match from last week. Last week it went great. This week not so much. Okay, let's see if we can remove that taunt. Nope, not yet. Another try. Okay, finally we remove the taunt. And now we remove the other taunt. Wow, resisted or something. Lizard in room 6 didn't work. Yeah, yeah, Lizard. Did you face the one with Ormamo and Morgan Lafay as well? I think that uh, New Warriors Apocalypse might be the, the best, best way to do it. To, to beat it as fast as possible. To more efficiency, right? Okay, let's go with the special to get some counters. And now I'm going to get demolished by that, that pool. By that dead pool. Valgir Team 19, let's go. Very excited for my Apocalypse Gear Team 19 tomorrow, if you are lucky. I still need a few Astral Energy. Yeah, I've been using the, the Lizard in room 1. People are putting the Black Knight in room 1, so I had to use Lizard there. Bro, it's a 3 diamond three diamond Iron Man and he dies just like that. Cloak does his special and he one-shots 3 diamond Iron Man. Are you kidding me? I guess Iron Man has like fake diamonds or something. It has to be fake diamonds. It's lab grown grown diamonds. It's like the lab meat. It's fake. And and rescue dies. Oh my god, what is this? What is this shit? What is this shit luck? Every time we have Alliance Wars, 
The game is like 10 times more difficult. No one has defense down. It's amazing. No one has defense down. Cloak? Was, was it Castro? Every time we have Alliance Wars, it's like the game is 10 times more difficult. My team went too fast, Gwenpool uh, went before Potato. Yeah, I, that's the, the, the purpose of that combo. That combo on room 6, that's the goal, is for, uh, for Potato to go last. Because he doesn't wear his helmet. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Oh, this team is oh, not good, not good. Dyron, man, he feels so weak. And the fact that he has the same speed as the Dark Hawk, it, it's, it's a huge problem. It's really a huge problem because you never know who goes first. And Scopely, they know this shit. They know this shit for sure. Like, they compromised the Pegasus team by making Dark Hawk and, uh, and Iron Man having the same speed. Because if they have different speed, you can adjust the eyes away to take most advantage of it. But like this, like this is just so garbage, man. Ooh, this calendar is so bad. So you only get one extra orb. So normal secret, yes, yes. The full team, the normal secret defenders is bad. The No, sorry. The full new warriors is be better. Dark Hawk. The full new warriors in that case is better. Oy, 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 oy. But, but it still has some RNG. It still has some RNG. If your dagger gets her ultimate uh, right away, then, then you can uh, destroy them. But once again, it, it's very RNG based. But it's definitely better than the Lizard version. The Lizard version was better last season, but this season it's better to use Lizard somewhere else. Okay, offense up. Ultimate. Now, now everyone has defense down, so you just reset the game. You reset the game and the game now is 10 times more easy. Does this make sense? Light trauma here. Uh, let's clear those regions. Ability lock. Please don't kill her. Of course she's gonna kill her. Is, is this the same difficulty? Is this the same difficulty? It doesn't seem like the same difficulty. It's exactly the same team. What changed? Vulnerability there. Rescue basic. Let's go here in the middle. Uh, so, Dagger, she's still in the first turn. Let's use the ability block here. So she doesn't heal up anyone. Does this seem like the same match? We're gonna spread those blinds again. Now you have blind on all the Omega Reds. It's over now. Every time I upgrade a, a character, the tune gets clapped. 
You mean like they lose value or uh, what do you mean? VNM, go finish the, the boss. 13% battery. Let's see if you can still do one more attack in uh, in war. Or you do the X-Men uh, nodes, VNM. Yeah, this guy not using his helmet is not holding up. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we have a... We probably can do two attacks in, uh, in the armory. Scroller with Ive Mind. What were you using here? We were using here um, Gamma, right? It's on the security though. King Bump. I remember this guy. So Gwenpool instead of Rogue. Interesting. Gwenpool instead of Rogue. Oh, wait. We have out of time, right? We have out of time on offense. Let's destroy this guy. But I've mind they still are gonna make some problems for us. Let's see. Okay, so let's use uh, out of time versus this one million punch up on the security. So they have defense down and ten percent more stats, and they're gonna have multiple turns. I think this is a bad idea. Let's see. A scroll goes. I'm not sure if I have Striker as a weight on that guy or Skirmisher. A scroll is gone, but so is my team. Oh, they, they almost got on the red. Okay, I need Black Knight to take a turn. Cosmic Ghost Rider. Let's go. Big uh, special. He has drain. Ooh, that drain was so weak. That was some weak sauce drain. Uh, we are going to ability block the that guy over there. Let's smash uh, that girl over there as well. Wow. <laughs> okay. She starts with the ultimate. Oh, I didn't know about that. Okay, let's get that speed bar. Starbrand finally takes a turn. Why is Starbrand so garbage? Starbrand, once again, we were talking about how Wakanda is garbage. Starbrand has synergies with Wakanda and he's also garbage. Okay, smash with a special, turning wind. For days, taunt. Big ultimate with this guy, Cosmic Ghost Rider, another garbage character. This is like the um, Out of Time 2.0. Uh, this is uh, Out of Time, no, the, this is like the Nowhere 2.0. Star Brand, big ultimate. <laughs> he almost kills the Carnage, almost. But he's like level uh, not enough. Okay, there you go. Easy. One million punch up. Not very surprising. Yeah, I, I was not sure if... Uh, I know it gives one energy, but I didn't remember. Okay, 5% battery left. That's it for today, guys. I apologize the rage. But sometimes the energy is just not good enough. Yeah, yeah. the out of time is the out of time 2.0. What I wanted to say is that out of time is the nowhere 2.0. I'm against Sus, Cabal, Weaver in room 1. First time I see Sus with Cabal on defense. Do you have any idea? They don't have any skirmishers, just riders. Sus and Cabal. Uh, you should use Cabal with uh, Void Knight and Emma Frost. That's the team I used against something similar. 
should work. If someone could give uh, out of time uh, that proof, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That would definitely help having a, that proof with safeguard. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Catch you guys tomorrow. Last Cosmic Crucible, and uh, and then we'll see. I I don't think I'm gonna show up on Thursday. The baby should uh, born on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, maybe on Saturday, I'll say something. We'll see. Okay, guys, see you guys tomorrow. Good luck with Cosmic Crucible and Alliance Wars. And I'll catch you guys later. Take care.